Hello, I'm James George, and this is Web Design Blog. And today, I'm going to show you how to <clears throat> how to create a modal pop-up window inside of uh, Foundation Five. It's really easy, and it's uh, you'll be surprised at how easy it is. Okay, for those of you that are uh, regulars uh, on web design blog. I created a free uh, website template called Silverback, and so uh, and, you know it's got a slider, and you know it's got a lot of different features. And one of the features is when you click the download Silverback button, you have a modal pop-up where you can fill out, you can enter your email address, and subscribe to download Silverback and you'll receive the download in your email. So to do this is not very hard and it actually shows you how to do this in the documents. And, I, and I'll talk about some of the, the things, the parameters to get this to work. And so I've got the Silverback uh, HTML here and what I have is, you know, it's a list item inside of the top bar here and it's a button and so I just added this to a button this button already existed and so what I did was I added the data reveal ID equals first modal and this is a class of button and with a class of success as well and so that way you have you sort of have two classes applied to the same thing but it's a button and it's a success button so it's going to be styled to be green which you can see here and so this is basically a link but you know it's sort of like a false link because it's it's really the content the, the important part to remember here is it's not linking to a page, but what it's doing is it's linking to a div ID of modal. This right here is important, first modal. So what you're going to do is, towards the bottom of your page, you're going to have your modal. So you're going to call this, see, hidden modal info. I've got it commented in, in the HTML. And so you have div ID, first modal, class, reveal modal, small. That's important. And so what, what's happening is the, uh, this div by default is set to display none. And what happens is when they click this button that you've given as uh, the data reveal ID of first modal it it changes the status of the div ID first modal from uh, display none to display block I believe and so what happens is the content inside uh, that's wrapped in so inside of that div called um, uh, first modal the content that's wrapped within that is displayed. Now, the classes, I'll go back down here to, see this is, this information is wrapped in a div. You see where this is gray, and this is gray. This is the whole modal. And what I did was I just embedded a MailChimp signup form inside of your HTML. And in between the uh, opening and closed, open and closed divs of the um, first modal div, with the class of reveal modal, and small. And so, if you look at the foundation documentation, you've got these classes for small, medium, large, extra large, and expand. And each one of these has a, a set width of a certain percentage like 30, 40, 60, 70, and 95. Uh, for that small sign up form I believe that 30 percent was plenty so I set it to small. 
But if you had, let's say you had, uh, you wanted to place three divs inside of there, inside of the modal pop-up, you'd probably want it to be set to about 70%. And you divide it up into three divs, and you might have like a sign-up form in one, uh, follow me on Twitter and Facebook and all that on another, and then, you know, you could have something else, like another freebie or giveaway or some uh, some sort of special message. And so it just really depends on what you're having to pop up, what you want to set your modal to, what size, small, medium, large, extra large, or expand. And so that's what you need to pay attention to. So all you'd have to do if I wanted to make this bigger is change it to change small to medium, large, X large, or expand. And it could be bigger up to 95%. And that's really all it is. And so in between the opening and closed div of first modal, I have want silver back, enter in your email address below. And here's the embedded MailChimp sign-up form. And as you can see, it works great and it has a closing, um, a close button as well. And so it just makes it really nice. See, close, reveal, modal. And that is the little button class you see in the corner. And so I'll click this again. You click it, that's what this little X is. And it's all set up to be really easy for you to, to uh, control easily. And that's all there is to it. Um, just making sure that I've covered just about everything. Oh, if you want to... Uh, bring up the content of another page, you can embed that via Ajax. You just set the uh, href att attribute to data reveal Ajax equals true. And so you can uh, place a link inside of there instead of just having um, a div content. And so that can be handy too if you wanted to display something else there. And of course, you can um, use uh, SAS and JavaScript to uh, further control things. But uh, for my purposes, uh, you know, it was pretty easy just to create a modal pop-up with a div. Hope you guys have found this to be useful. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, place those in the comments section on Web Design Blog. I'm James George, and this has been an episode of Web Design Blog.